Hello guys, welcome to Straight to the Point Tutorials. Jose says hello from Madrid, Spain. Today I will be creating this vintage style or old photo style using Luminar Neo. Okay guys, welcome back. As I said, I will be converting this photograph to the look you see on screen right now. This is a type of vintage look, uh, old style photo that I converted from um, a full color photo. Basically, I will be reducing contrast. I will be, uh, um, you know, lighten the, the shadows. I will be adding some color and some grain and some other effects that will help me create this style. So let's get straight to the point and do it right away. This is the photograph I will be transforming. This is the final result. I will now reset all the adjustments in here. And this is the original photo. It's a full color photograph that I will be transforming into a uh, old photo style. The modules we are going to be using here are under the essentials, the develop section, color, and also vignette. And under the creative side, I will use the fill and grain. So those are the four uh, sections of Luminar Neo I will be using to create this style. I will start with the develop. In this module, I will, uh, first of all, reduce the contrast around to maybe 54. Let me see here. Yes. I will brighten the shadows to, let me see, 66. Yeah, it's fine in there color section now i will increase the temperature to around maybe 70 something let me check in here i want this yellowish tone in here so 72 is fine i will add some tint toward the magenta side maybe around the 30s yeah there is fine and now we'll decrease the saturation to minus 100 and a touch of vibrance just to enhance the yellows so this is already looking vintage i mean the tone right we need to add some other things to make it a more old style so that's enough in the develop module that's all you need to do in there now I'll switch to the switch to the film grain over here i will add maybe around 20 yes yeah, fine uh let me check the size and roughness is okay for me the way it is okay now let's apply the vignette okay i will go all the way to let me reduce this uh, i think that's fine let me check yes okay now and the advanced settings, not too much, maybe some inner light to just lighten up the subject itself. I think there is fine. Some feathering adjustment, not too much. You see, yes, it's okay. All right. Now the last step is just to fine tune the color. And I will do that here in the color section. I, l I left this for the end because this is the final a retouching as I said the final touches of the color to to your liking in this case you know I will be changing this uh, to the tones I like if you want to use the same tones go ahead and you can pause the video and copy the settings but remember that not all pictures are the same so you might need to move uh, them to a different uh, setting or just maybe not use them at all in the color section let's go to the HSL over here, I will be working on saturation and luminance. In saturation, okay, um, I will reduce the reds because that's one thing I want to reduce. And the other thing is the orange. Yeah, I'm just checking the picture. Orange is fine. Minus 11 is okay. And that's it. Okay, if, if you check the before and after, you see it's more light in color. It's not that contrasty. So I'm looking after that. So now I'll switch to luminance. 
And over here in luminance, this this the luminance controls the brightness or darkness of uh, each individual color. So in this case, I will uh, reduce the reds again, maybe around there. And I also will, in this case, I will not, well, I will reduce the yellows first, and then I will increase the oranges. I think that's fine over there. Look at sepia type of H photo. One particular thing about old photos is that they look uh, with no contrast. They look uh, desaturated, right? Okay, so that's it, guys. That's, that's the style that, that I like for this photograph. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you like this style, if you would do it different, I mean this tone. There are some other tones that will be also recording tutorials, you know, the black and white. And there is another one that is uh, the yellowish green tone. Those are the three different styles of adjustment that I like to use when I'm using, I'm creating an old style photograph. So guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Please share, like, and subscribe to the channel. And I see you in the next straight to the point tutorial. God bless you all.